I get my clothes out for the day and lay it on my bed and get myself dressed, I am thinking it is a new year. It is a time to be setting goals and having aspirations for things I would like to achieve and accomplish for myself, for my spiritual walk, my daily life, my health, my family. And so today I'm just going to bring you along on a real homemaking day in the life and just share a little bit of goal inspiration that I've thought of for the new year. Now, goals don't have to be just at the new year, of course, but one thing is to eat healthy, and that's something that I think is so important for all of us, and I love making a healthy breakfast for our family, and I just think, you know, getting little things done throughout the day, I talk about this all the time, doesn't have to be a goal per se, but just something that if we see it needs done, let's just do it. Refilling my hand soap on the kitchen counter took three minutes and so just doing those little things keeping a fresh house changing out laundry daily getting bed linens clean especially after kids have been sick you know that's actually just part of daily living and so you know just having the goal to maintain a well-kept home Getting ready for the day has been something that I have done for quite some time now. I just have felt so much better if I put a sweater on, some jeans or a dress, do my hair a little bit, maybe a little makeup. Some days I don't do makeup because it's not always needed, but just making myself feel more ready for the day and a goal that I have is to maintain that habit of being just put together and prepared for the day so I can run errands, so I can be home if someone happens to show up or if I can just be home with my girls but also my husband appreciates it and I think that's an important thing too to do things that our spouses really appreciate and enjoy about us. Also, baking with my girls is another thing I really want to continue to do. They love sitting in the kitchen and watching and helping. And yes, things get messy because they're little and it takes more time and it takes more cleanup in the end. But I think it's so important to have them learn those homemaking skills and be in the kitchen with you. So I have a goal to have them help me in the kitchen, whether it be cut some cheese, help mix some things, start cracking eggs, you know, all those things that little toddlers can do and should learn how to do so they can become homemakers in their homes when they are older. Uh, Getting outside in the winter, I have actually come to love the winter months in the Dakotas where I live. We have lots of snow now and it's crisp and cool, but just getting outside, watching the snowfall, playing on the sled with my girls, going for walks, I think a goal to have is to get outside if you can every day for 15, 30 minutes and just enjoy that fresh air and it's so good for the soul, the mind, the spirit. Uh, Redecorating per season. This is just something I enjoy. Probably not even a goal, but just to keep things still simple, but also maybe change things up a little bit this year. I'm getting a little more risky with what I'm liking in colors and just, you know, being okay with creating my own style and not just something that other people think I might need to have. So, you know, setting a goal to 
Create your own home to make it a place you love is so important so you can enjoy that space. And that's what I try to do with my home and taking down dead things like these real greens I've had in my kitchen for a while. That's just, you know, again, part of daily life. I don't need dead pine needles all over my kitchen counter, especially in a place where you bake. But goals to have of making your space your own and it's okay to change decor and your style as you grow and change in your life because seasons change and you change as a person and it's okay to create a different space in a different atmosphere. daily cleaning routine is so important in my home and I just did a video about my weekly cleaning routine. I think that helps me maintain my sanity and my home honestly and I just like being able to have one room one area clean each day so it's ready for whenever people come the next day and so I just know I can feel accomplished in one area. And again, back to the healthy cooking from scratch meals. This is something I have continually worked on and that I truly enjoy doing, whether it be a pasta dish, um, a roast that was put in the slow cooker, whether it just be tuna casserole with some raw milk in it, you know, feeding my family something relatively nutritious from scratch for the most part. And just knowing that I'm caring for my family in that way is a goal I'll continue to do. And also another goal related to food is continually working on my bread making skills. I love making sourdough bread. It's just kind of gotten to be my Monday morning routine. And so I continue to hope to do that and resetting the kitchen every night. This can be a challenge, especially when you have littles or you're nursing or it's just hard sometimes to reset your kitchen, but to continually create that space you love to come out to in the morning and make your coffee and just get the table reset for the day, put dirty dishes away and just make a home you love. So I hope you are inspired to create some goals for yourself to have aspirations in what you're doing as a homemaker. With that, I will talk with you in the next one.